yes, yes, you all. Sorry I've not been around, but I've been a little bit poorly. But I'm all better now, so hooray. I'm going to get on with some reviews very shortly, but first there's a couple of things I need to do. The other day, I received a letter from who may well be my youngest viewer. Yes, indeed. His name's Zach. He's from Pennsylvania, and he is seven. And he writes, Dear Thew, how are you doing? I'm all right. Me and my brother love your reviews. We think they have no kibble. If you were a combiner, you would be called Fumungus. Zach, yes. And you would have no kibble. Me and my brother love the review of Blur. It was awesome. Thank you. I was wondering if you could review Revenge of the Fallen Smokescreen. I haven't got him. I have him, and he is awesome. I was also wondering if I can put your reviews on my website. Of course you can. Your friend, Zach. Yes, Zach. Thank you so much for writing, dude. That rocks. Say hi to your bro and your dad for me. And please, rock on. So that's that, and here's this. I got a question in the form of a video from a man called Dylan Dior123, who asked, In the world of Transformers, what is kibble? Fair point there, I do tend to assume that most of my viewers are at least as much of a nerd as I am. And I use that word in, like, every video. So I guess it's kind of important that you know what it means. So I'm just going to lay down the basics or I'll be here all day. Kibble is a fan coin term for any bits on a Transformer that don't have anywhere to go in another mode. With a Transformer, it's kind of accepted that the robot mode is going to be kind of person-shaped, but also with some hints as to what it turns into. Wheels are fine. Wings are fine. The hood chest, that's a classic. So anything else from the robot mode that doesn't add to the look of the robot or have any particular purpose, that's kibble. For example, Mixmaster is freaking South Central kibble. I mean, the pipes and the wheels, they're not kibble because they work with the design, they give him his look. The bits of the drum hanging off his arm, those, I wouldn't say they were kibble. But these bits, definitely kibble. They're just there. They don't look any good and they don't do anything. It's the same deal with his cab here, it's just tucked away at the back. I don't know, maybe it was time or budget constraints or just laziness, but the designers couldn't think of anything cool to do with it, so they just slapped it on his butt. Obviously, different people have different standards as to what they consider to be kibble. I mean, if we have a look at Bulkhead, these bits up here, these are kind of borderline. I wouldn't say they're kibble because I like them, but some folks would say they're kibble because they don't really go anywhere. But these ones here, definitely kibble. It's not all flaps hanging off robots, though. I mean, there's some fists hanging off iron hides back there. That's not any good. It's not a great example, that one, but you get the point. Uh, Transmetal Megatron had a similar thing going on in, with his dino mode tit fists. Triple Change is a pretty notorious for it as well. Do you remember Blitzwing's jet mode? Bloody tank tracks! And also there's Combiner Kibble, Anti-Kibble, and Visible Head Syndrome. So that's pretty much what Kibble is. Do you know who could tell you better, though? TF Wiki. Such a great site. It contains all the answers. Get on over there. TFWiki.net. It's pretty great. Did I mention that Zack drew Skywarp on the envelope? And Optimus. And he put U-Rock in Skywarp's colours. Come on. I hope my kids turn out like you.